Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Dre here, and welcome to the high seas of a little game called Curse Crew. I just stumbled upon this one about 30 minutes ago, and, uh, fantastic! I'm enjoying myself with it, so I thought I would show you guys it as well. Reminds me of something like Don't Starve, but obviously it's a piracy game. Uh, so yeah, it's Don't Starve meets Pirates, that's what I'm gonna call it anyways. We're gonna start a new game today, check it out, see if you guys like it or not, and yeah, if you guys do like it, we will continue this adventure so we do actually have a few ships we can choose from at the start there is some locked and then it looks like there's special ships if we can do a certain thing with said ships so being that i'm a newbie noob i think i'm gonna start off with the with the smallest ship which is also the fastest that's going to allow me to get away quickly also it is going to be the weakest obviously but uh it's actually not too bad 90 compared to like 125 and 110 that's not that much of an increase and I do like having a small ship because we are managing the crew in this game. So we're going to be running around a lot, most likely. Let's get out into it and see what it's all about. So now we got to actually make our ship. Kind of like this skeleton just caressing his cannon. I, I feel like that's going to bring me good luck or something. All right, so that's done. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Oh, no, damn it. I didn't want that. Okay, keep that like that. Uh, I just, I'll just change the sail color to... Okay, that's too black. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that. And next, we have to make our derpy little captain. All right, I have a strong jaw to assert dominance. Uh, hairstyle, that's plain. I mean, I guess it is kind of plain. Why are you dancing? Stop, stop doing that. I like that the nose is just called potato because it's absolutely massive. I don't know what I'm going for, by the way. Fat. Yeah, he's got a fat nose. I'll go, I think I'll go for the broken nose. All right, there we go. I feel like uh, this guy has seen a few things. But he's a captain, so he he should have seen a few things. <laughs> I love the look of this game. All right, and day one, the journey begins. Captain Dre Log, my memory falters. To be frank, I'm uncertain of the circumstances that brought me aboard this ship. A sudden flash is all I remember from the night before. Okay, so we're choosing if we want more crew, weapons, or ammunition. I feel like ammunition is going to be the smartest. 47 cannonballs and gunpowder. Nice. All right. Now we're just kind of thrown into it. So we have our crew here. They'll automatically do things generally. I think we start with like three or four. Looks like she is manning the cannons. Everything is good. Let's waste no time though. We got to set up some sleeping quarters right now because we don't have any of that. So that's going to be the first thing I'm going to do. So we can construct in this game. And do I have everything for hammocks? Indeed I do. So I'm just going to put down... I think four of these for right now. And what I love about this game is the crew will just do things for me if they see that they need to be done. So the management in this game is kind of relaxed, which is nice. All right, hammocks are done. And now looking at my uh, top here, obviously we only have two cannons, one small one, one big one. I think we'll just keep the cannons on this main area here. Okay, we are getting to our first cross point too. I'm going to stay away from ships just yet until we get our ship set up. So I'm going to go to this question mark here and we'll see if anything happens or not. Uh, we, you can also see we're actually moving with time. So you are actually traveling in this game. It's pretty cool. All right, so yeah, we have a few basic cannons in storage. I'm going to spread these out a bit. And that is all we have in storage for right now. So we got our cannons next up probably want to get food so we can designate fishing spots i guess we'll fish out of the back of the boat probably we should put the cookery right by that okay so we got a stove here also i think warmth is important because i was reading still working on these things as you can see i'm kind of getting ahead of myself but yeah it says uh with a, serves as a source of light and warmth so we'll put the brazier down here Next up, I would love to have some ammo storages so we can have stockpiles. So I think I'm going to put one right in between these. Looks like we have an event right now. So we got a uh, look at saw a large wooden crate. As I peered through my spyglass, an abrupt shake caught my eye. Something alive was still inside, trapped at the mercy of the sea. Do I shoot it? Uh, I kind of want to shoot it, but I feel like I'm going to kill whatever's inside and it might just be an extra crew member. So I'm going to take it aboard and open. Uh, we secured ropes. Round the sides, hoisted it up. After carefully placing it onto the dock, we pried it open and out sprang a group of killer crabs. They roamed about uncaring of our presence. Great. Uh, do we have crabs on the boat still? Oh, God, we actually do. Uh, I didn't even collect my stuff. Damn it. All right, hold on, guys. Hold on. I just I just need to grab my dagger. I, I, I haven't done this yet, so I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Hold on. There's a tutorial. All right, so you just s simply hold space close to it. Uh, it doesn't seem to be working. Okay, so are, are they just chilling? I thought they were going to attack me. Okay, I, th I, I think they're just part of our crew now. Can you please move so I can grab my gun? All right, so we're going to clear all on this. Oh, 
Okay. Wow, these things are going really, really quickly. Uh, I guess we'll just go for this one. We're going to have to see a boat sooner or later, so we'll worry about that in a second. So I just want ammo to go here. Just ammo. Okay, so we'll just put that. I, do I need gunpowder as well? Probably. So we'll do both on that spot. Now, having gunpowder out here, maybe not the smartest idea. It's probably explosive. We'll find out, I guess. All right, so I'm just going to put a big storage down here and tell everybody to put everything down here for right now. I do have to set up a crafting area. Not a big deal, I don't think, right now. But yes, we can make a crafting bench as well as a smithy. So we'll see what that does later on here. Oh, uh, I was wondering why we couldn't go ahead. That seems to be a problem. Uh, bring repair resource wood. Okay, so I can do this too. Good. Since I don't know what the hell my crew's doing. Come on, man. Lift. Lift with your back. Love how I haven't even seen a pirate yet. And, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I have a hole in my ship. Okay, there we go. Uh, should I mop this up? I guess I should. No, you guys can do that. I'm the freaking captain. What am I doing? I told him to strip deck. Does that, wait, does that mean they're, does that mean he's ripping up the deck? Oh, God. Yeah, no, 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 no. Don't, don't do it. Why can you do that? Why can I tell this guy to just rip a plank off of my ship? Well, thank you for repairing it. This is a nightmare. I thought I had this down. Oh, it's deconstruct. I didn't even see the deconstruct. Okay, there we go. Oh, it was an Imperial ship. It was a smaller warship patrolling these waters. Pirates, a glint flickered back. They must have spotted us too. And not soon after they turned their guns on us. Oh God, do I attack or flee? Is that me or is that me? Screw it. It's already hectic enough. Let's go for the attack and see what happens. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. Okay, it's got one cannon. This, this is their ship, by the way. One cannon. So I thought it would be way worse than this. Okay, so we can see them on the map. They're going to be coming to the right side, which is, is starboard, right? Which is good because that's where our two cannons are. So man the starboard cannons. And they should hopefully come up. Still no freaking cannonballs here. I'm going to tell them to shoot as soon as the ship is within view which is going to be this little uh, ruler thing here. Once it gets within that range, we should be able to shoot. We have two cannons on this side. They only have one cannon total. You can take a peek at their ship with my wonderful spyglass so we can see if we're actually hitting them or not. And we should be getting our first hit here. I'm going to tell my guy to start turning to the right since we can follow them. And I'll actually stop, stop turning right because we're, we're not going to shoot ever. Fire the cannons. It's in, it's in range, guys. What, what what are you waiting for? Did, did I screw this up? Oh, God, I did. There we go. How did I turn that off? Okay, I might have been a bit late. Oh, no, that was perfect. Okay, direct hit. All right, and I need to focus on uh, movement of the ship. I forgot to turn it, so now we're just sitting here all awkwardly. We haven't been hit yet, though, so that's good. And one's going. He's within range. She should be in a second. Now I just got to focus on keeping this thing in this zone so we'll go nice and straight for a second see if they can do it again come on oh yeah there we go just gotta keep it in that zone keep them coming like clockwork guys sink this damn ship i think i can tell them yeah i can tell them what to target as well right now i'm telling them to target uh a deck uh that will hit the crew i'm gonna tell them to target for water leaks now so they'll be busy with that they're actually almost dead, so I don't think they're going to last much longer. They only got 15 hit points left. And come on, just knock it down. Got five hit points left. It's got to be down here. There we go. I did it. I can't believe I did it. Considering how many things have screwed up so far, they just jump off. Oh, I love how over the top it is. Can we, can we make them our crew? I mean, they're just going to die, right? Maybe there's an island somewhere here. I have no idea. We are victorious. Now, how do I get my loot? Uh... Do, do I get my loot? Uh, okay. They're they're now attacking. I knew these guys would be bad. Why? Why? I tried to stab them before. Why, why? Why was there a waiting time? Where I couldn't kill these guys. Oh, God. I'm taking so much damage. Guys, help me. Help me. Please. Freaking do something. All right. You know what? You, you guys are expendable. So I'm going to try and figure out how to use this. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Well, it, it, it worked. All right, gonna make myself some food since nobody else is. Oh, I guess because I'm telling them to man the cannons first. Uh, still, I I am smart. Okay, and there we go. We got the ending thing. So we got three grog, 109 copper, and 17 cereal. Delicious. All right, let's stop off at an island here, see what that's all about. So we'll set course there and see what happens. 
All right, day two, we reached a beach. Uh, we can explore the beach, explore inland, or scavenge for resources. I'm feeling confident. I'm going to go inland. Uh, close to the shore, we found a dilapidated fortress. Bricks shifted easily underfoot. The gates ajar and crumbling with rust allowed us to enter with ease. Uh, what do I need? I mean, I already have ammo, so I might be able to get an extra cannon there, which would be nice. But I feel like the officer's quarters is kind of what I'm most interested in. Mess hall doesn't really matter. I can just fish if I need food. So let's see what's in here. Oh, money. I should have assumed that. All right, I'm going to craft some rope in my uh, area here just because why not? I don't really know what else I'm going to be able to do right now. And I need iron and whatnot to make cannonballs. So I guess we're not making that just yet. May as well get some rope, though. All right, someone keeps eating the meals. I can't even get a meal in, so I gotta have to make one for myself, I think. Uh, yeah, because everyone seems to just be making their own. And voila! I got my first meal. <laughs> I think I was the last person to eat. That's the way a good captain should be. And now that we're making five meals, he's bringing the whole barrel up. There we go. Much better. Okay, one thing we did run out of is bandages, and I would like to heal myself for the next fight. I have 100 health, but I can get a max of 150. So I need bandages, and then you sleep with said bandage, and you will heal yourself. So we'll see what happens here. It looks like, actually, we have a lot of people who are quite damaged right now. All right, well, we're nearing the end anyways, as you can see. I don't know if this is the end of the journey or whatnot, but I'm very curious what this one is, because this has a different emblem. Uh, day two, Pirate Haven. The crew showed signs of relief as we approached the harbor. After securing fish, scallywag to the wharf, we disembarked. Uh, the undermarket, the shipyard, or leave port? Uh, I don't know if I only have one choice. First thing I want is a cannon, so I'm gonna go to the shipyard. I'll repair ship, and then I'm also going to trade. How do you have no cannons at the shipyard? I thought for sure they would. There's a deal meter in this game that's great. Uh, I... How much wood do I have? 66. I think we're, we're okay. I'm just going to cancel this and leave. I don't know what the undermarket is. Let's go. Grocer, blacksmith, gunsmith. Okay, so all the good stuff. I'm going to sell that grog that I looted just for something besides just fish. I wonder if we actually need a special diet. I did loot that cereal as well, though. So three grog for seven meat. No idea if that's good or not, but uh, we'll just take it just to have some more food. And there we go. That's what I wanted. And I should have kept my grog, I guess. Oh, no, that's mine. What the hell is a skull launcher? That just sounds badass. I want to do that. Wait, do I need skulls to launch said cannon? So that's 352 copper. Chain cannon would be great for the mass as well. We can do swivel guns. Uh, I do want some more cannonballs just in case. I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford this or not. The skull launcher might be a bit aggressive. No, I, I definitely want this thing. It's only 100 more than the chain cannon. So how much is a cereal worth? Well, 1.2. No, I don't know if we're going to get there or not. Oh, silver's worth a bit. We have a skull launcher now. And I'm going to leave before I spend all my money. Okay, and I guess we got out of that zone. So now, oh, this is cool. So there's, this is a grand journey, like truly. So each, each one of these points is a whole new map to explore. So I guess we'll go to the Wailing Waters now. And, ooh, I like a skull and bones at the end of this one. Oh, freaking crabs are back. So does, are they just going to randomly decide to attack me again? Let's get annoying, man. Yep, there, there, there they go. Stop jumping out. Oh, there's three now? What are you guys, are you guys eating this? Oh, all right. We got another uh, island that we stopped at. I'm going to go inland again and see if it's any different. Oh, we got ruins this time. Uh, we're definitely going to search the ruins. That's either going to be, uh, we're going to be poison or there's going to be treasure. 37 metal and 16 refined metal. That sounds really good. I mean, I don't know how much we need, but that sounds fantastic. Speaking of that, I might actually be able to refine that. So yeah, I can craft more cannonballs if I want to. We definitely don't need that. Uh, refined metal, I don't really know what it's for. Crafting advanced cannons and weapons. Well, I'm not doing that yet. So yeah, we'll worry about this later. Actually, I could try and get this axe because that looks pretty damn good. I have 16. I need 25 of these refined metal. Okay, and yeah, now I can craft that axe. Perfect. So I'm going to go bring the resources and build myself a new melee weapon because I think we're going to have some good use out of it in a second here when these crabs decide to attack me. Uh, okay, we've got a hostile ship. I do have to start attacking more ships, so we are going to attack, and we'll worry about building my axe later. What does this ship got? Okay, two cannons this time. That's a scary cannon. It's got a goat's head on it or something. Only two people on it, though, it looks like. No, sorry, three. Oh, God. Huxley just took a hit. Okay, this is bad. Crabs, can you please heal? 
All right, so they took a, they got a couple hits off on us, but as you can see, one shot and we knocked this thing way down. Trying to keep this in range here, so we're far away, obviously. That, <laughs> that's a problem. I guess we caught it on fire. I guess that's probably what this thing does. I think we're too far away because they're supposed to auto shoot. It's looking like they're not shooting, obviously. So I guess that's why, because it's within the thing. But I'm just going to try and head over there now. Oh, never mind. It's looking like it's sunk. Destroy a ship with fire. Go me. Not even intentional. I guess that's what the new cannon does. I'm glad I bought that. All right, we got uh, a Musketoon, so that's good. Or sorry, a Musketoon schematic. Uh, so I guess we can unlock that. Not much else, unfortunately. So took some hits for that one too, unfortunately. Uh, I think I'm going to chill from attacks for a second and go to the island again. It seems like that's those are actually better anyways. What are you doing up here? Go... I don't trust you guys. Or, I thought he was cooking. I thought the freaking crab was cooking. All right, we got a lush jungle this time. What happens if we set up camp? Just out of curiosity. Oh, all right. So sleep and morale goes up, which is probably a good thing right now because that's probably pretty low because we haven't slept much. All right, day four. I finally get my new handy dandy axe. Maybe we should actually try and board now considering I have a decent melee weapon, I'm assuming. Uh, how do I use this? Equip short axe. Huzzah! No longer am I a dagger noob. Look at that, uh, dude. I, I look like an absolute maniac now. <laughs> oh, I got a curious dolphin. Hunt the dolphin. <laughs> I want to toss a wooden plank. Let's see what happens. Attempting to engage with the creature's playful nature, I toss a wooden plank near the dolphin while making whistling calls. Responding eagerly, they, they engaged in fetching the piece of wood. After numerous exchanges, it suddenly vanished as it lost interest. Oh. I just lost a wood. I saw a dolphin play with a piece of wood, though. It was worth it. Hey, are you eating my fish? You bastards! I knew it! I was, I've was. i been fishing all day, and I swear I saw them eat, the, eat them. How do I get you off my boat? Go, shoot. Go back to the ocean. Lobsters rule. Crabs, frig off. Oh, oh, it worked. It worked. Oh, God, I wasn't prepared for this. Hold on, I have to, I have to, I have to learn how to do this. Oh, God. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is really bad. Please don't tell me this is how I die. Oh, God. Guys, I knew this was going to happen. I don't know how to deal with these things. There we go. Okay, new axe coming in handy. Look at me. Swipe it away. Oh, we are going to die. We are. I, I'm going to die. I'm going to actually die. Okay, okay, okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Everything, everything's going bad. Everything. Okay. How I die? How do you deal with the crabs? What am I missing? How do I shoo them off the boat? I'm assuming I'm just supposed to continuously provoke them now because I'm assuming that's why they turned red before too many get on your ship. I was just living with them, man. It was kind of cool. All right. Well, I didn't expect my first run of curse crew to end via crabs, but yes, it did. So yeah, I thought you guys would enjoy a quick look at this game. Let me know if you guys would like to see some more though, because I would love to go deeper into it and fight some of the bosses and whatnot. We only saw a glimpse of it today. But yeah, this game is in alpha right now, so I'm not going to rush too much into content. But uh, yeah, if you guys do enjoy this and would like to see more, let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey there. Before you go, I just wanted to let you know about my second channel, Gast. If you're missing my multiplayer shenanigans, then please consider checking it out. Scan the QR code or copy the link down below. Okay, bye. Captain! It's too bizarre. Why am I bizarre? What's wrong? That face is too, it's it's too messed. Here, put the smiler on. Somebody show him. Up here. Oh my God. No, I'm keeping it.